Back of deck is updated green red six breach. We trophied with this build on Monday. I think it was Monday. And I liked the list a lot, but I didn't love the sideboard. And so I believe the main deck is the same. But the sideboard now contains Run Afoul for Nadu and Veil of Summer for Control. And we've just kind of abandoned the Fable plan because it seemed pretty pretty unnecessary. And then we're, we're just in on Tormod's Crypts instead of the Her Surgical Crypt split because Crypt is just so good with uh, with Six. It's also a zero mana artifact for the combo. Just seems like where you want to be. Uh, but this deck was really good. This was very lean, mean, fast. Also using Rumble 6 to fuel your plan, but instead of fueling your like flage grind your ring plan we're trying to combo with breach and grinding station you get to play four mox ambers with brennan six six and ragavan funneling it which is really nice you get to double spell be really powerful rumble is awesome in the stack uh channeler is awesome in the stack uh still playing one shifting woodland here for uh the ability to beat just guy in the late game i still don't know if it's like how worth it it is So today's written six rumble deck. I guess so. What's on a mold of six? Get that mox up to day two. Take this turn though. Love to hit a car and cast it off mox amber. I guess. <laughs> Fine. Listen, I didn't put the I didn't put the one ring in this deck. The one ring came to me here. I don't know what to tell you. I I yeah, I, I love that this deck doesn't play ring, but it's if it comes to you, you gotta you gotta take it. Let's put two channelers this turn. So we might put him play his card next turn. I can go rumble and then pressure the card. Two field of ruins. Wow. Suppose we should play this first. Just get an extra surveil. Be pretty tough to miss on delirium, but. I've definitely had some crazy strings of draws, although this will be enough. I'll take I'll stick up their channeler. Oh, I'll take a breach instead. Three four one before one the first league, they went no two. Remember the reclamation list? Um no, I've kind of talked about it with some friends. I'm not um particularly enthused about the archetype. All right, so a little bit short of trying to combo here. I'm just going to surveil. It's going to be good if they draw a Thought Not Seer, which is kind of their best draw. Just leave it on top. Any Shark Typhoon was the Think Tank? I mean, of course not, but... <laughs> Sorry to let you down. I wish that I, I wish I had a bunch... Okay, so we're going to get Crypt, maybe? We can probably combo off second main phase. Okay, so let's just attack the Karn first. Well... That is kind of like... Yeah, no, I just attack the Karn still, I think. Any blue mo cards you're super excited about? There's a few, yeah. I'll do I'll do a YouTube video. It's kind of hard for me to talk about him on the on this combo turn. You know what I mean? Guess we should maybe draw four cards, huh? So we do find a ragavan for these mox ambers. Let's just go ahead and start off with a breach. The one card I really can't put into the yard is the um, grape shot. Maybe I shouldn't have tapped the ring because of that, actually. Hmm. Should probably bolt them out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not even trying to crack the crypt. <laughs> okay. Deal. So the sages 
Coming in. Could you not mill and play your whole deck with Amber's two channels? Well, they have a Torbot's Crypt, but I, 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 I can, yeah. Just trying to think about this Torbot's Crypt that's in play as well. I think this is the sideboard plan. All right, turn one Ragavan and Chandler plus Ridden Six. Can I can I besage you twice next turn? I may have to draw a land. Player, 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 so I was meeting. It's okay, Blakey. It's fine. Did you have Vendillion click in your deck? Because I was so confused about this. The, the, the draw step stop. <laughs> oh, don't chalice me. I mean, I got I have to besage you, but it'd be pretty bad. Oh, that might be their only basic. A lot of people are just playing one forest, I think. So let's start off with the casting this. Graveyard. I'm going to play my another Mox Amber. And let's see if they have another basic. I guess I don't want to pick up the Besiege this turn anyways. Maybe I should have not... Legend of the Mox. It does seem to be their only one, though. Um... So this, uh, this is 8-6 Breach. Um, I'm calling it Rin and 6 and 6. What the fuck? Is that a Cabal Coffers? <laughs> that can't be a Cabal Coffers. Yeah, they were playing a bunch of Field of Ruins. I guess... I maybe have misread the room a little bit. Well, this worked out pretty good last game. That would give me Delirium. Second Chandler is really good, though. I can even cast it this turn. I, so, I, I just don't under... I just, this, I'm just thinking about... <laughs> Every, all the people who the, pe the people who last started playing the deck are like Ch Chandler has been really unimpressive to me <laughs> I just I don't know I could never let it go I guess but I just I just don't understand why nobody likes Chandler I'm sure some people like Chandler okay stop mumbling to myself and uh, combo kill my opponent good plan Yeah, my one regret is we are probably just not going to find out what the hell it is my opponent's up to. I'm going to go to an attack first. Could just triple bolt. Although, you know, my opponent's not doing anything there. But Chandler's just so good at the stack. There are so many suggestions. Of, like, I mean, not so many, but like probably six people suggested cutting Chandler on Monday. Some people just refuse to play it in any deck. Weird hand, but Rumble just like smooths things out so much. You can just go Woodland Tapped into Besage U turn two. I would maybe mulligan on the draw, but I think kind of a clear keep on the play. Hollow one deck? After new combo versus beating them down? I don't know. Both both happen for sure. I'm not sure what the, you know, the, the ratio is. How did I get Ragavan Nimble One Ring? <laughs> it did seem like we had an enhanced version of Ragavan that match. 
No pump, no pumps. Nice. So we can deny the token by sacking the spawn here. You won't catch me F6 in. Although, it, you might. Don't think I win if I draw grinding station. Alright, let's do this. Your turn. Chandler got Monkey Band Legacy. Ne Nether Goyf is better than Monkey. Yeah, I agree. Although I think Monkey's better than Goyf and Legacy, for whatever that's worth. How do you break the F6 habit? Oh, I, I just don't and embarrass myself on stream all the time. <laughs> it's kind of simple. What are they discarding? What, there's just a, just a Blood Crypt. Why don't kill Bowmaster, bring a recovery, bring a recovery, destroy me? I'm not worried about it. Maybe, maybe I should be. Maybe I should be. I, mostly, I just don't play against these decks very often, and I wasn't really thinking about it. Is the answer. When I say Boros Energy is image 3 equivalent to Blue Red Murktide, uh, two decks primary force set. Uh, I, I don't know that I would say those words exactly, but a, a person could say those words, huh? All right, my opponents are just not making us do it, huh? So my opponent is playing Burning Inquiry, Bowmaster, Holy Vindrine. It's like it's like Boros and and, and Murktide are very different archetypes. They're they do, they don't really play very similarly. Run a foul, and pick your poison. Uh, Run a foul is a lot better against um, Nadu. I don't think I want any Ragavans in my deck. No, so you always need you always need to have one Ragavan in the deck for comboing. Never mind. So I might just do this. I don't think I want these Crips. Yeah, maybe I play one Crypt over fourth Amber because Amber is a bit worse with all the Ragavans out. I don't know how much sense that makes. Let's try it. Yeah, it was a fine concession. It just like it felt a little early. We were probably gonna win that turn. That looks great. Can't you technically combo with Ren? Well. If we have one Ragavan in our deck, the amount of mana we can go off with decreases by one, which is just really important. I think I think you could never cut the fourth Ragavan, or I, I I don't think you should ever cut the fourth Ragavan, maybe is a better way to phrase it. Okay, I don't want to play the Channeler into a Bowmaster. How often would be to play this deck with blue as well to have access to Tamiyo? Uh, I think it'd be suboptimal. The mana in this build is really nice and good. The blue splash would not be easy. Tamiyo is a good card. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cast the Grinding Station, and then if my opponent goes like Bowmaster, Brain Cree, then, which is now on my radar, thank you, Chatter. Uh, if they do that, they could maybe just fuel my combo. The other day when I was on Blue Black 12 Counter Satoru, were there any consideration to Master of Death to help pump the frog? Help pump the frog with pitch spells. To help pump the frog with pinch spells. How does Master of Death help pump the frog? I don't know. It, I, Master of Death sucks. It's like, it's just very clunky. Uh, pitches, yeah. Maybe that's what you mean. It's not a very good card. Okay, and, and here in this spot, if we drew, if we were to draw a zero mana artifact, we could combo, I believe, because we have a rag of it in our deck. I may actually be one mana short, or sorry, one card in the yard short, if we draw the zero mana artifact. Do not deserve this top deck. Have I found Emperor Bones to 
be just worse than Nightmare. I mean, it isn't just worse. Imper Bones is good at reanimating big things, and Nightmare is not very good at reanimating big things. Uh, but it, for the most part, I would rather play uh, Nightmare Ducks. What a top deck. Pyroclasm is so back, baby. We're so back. Buried alive to get Asmo. Buried alive Asmo put three Daredevils in the yard. I don't... Well, three Daredevils in the yard is not very different from one Daredevil in the yard. But I, I've been I've been wanting to bury it alive for like three blood gas lately. Yeah, thankfully these, these are the two most important cards. Still need that zero mana artifact though. Still don't have it. Do you think there's a frog deck that'll end up being good enough to have a high meta share percentage this season? This is so suspiciously finance MTG coded, but uh, Aspergorios is uh, one of the top decks and is a very good frog deck, and there are various good Demir frog builds also. Whoa, hasty flame blade adept. Hello, Detectus Phoenix. Okay, well, just attack first. My heat in combat, we'll see. There's our combo. GG. Oh, I missed that the Ragavan was already in the yard. Don't have any like lava darts in the yard. I don't see one. Buried alive could be viable with Jet Medallion. Yeah, I've tried a few times to do buried alive Jet Medallion and have not succeeded. How does this deck win? So with Grinding Station Underworld Breach, you can play a zero mana artifact from your escape it by exiling three cards, sacrifice it to the Grinding Station to mill three cards, and you can just keep doing that over and over and over again until you find a grape shot to win the game with. You like the new Sunspine Links? No. I, I don't know what the card does. I don't have any of these cards memorized, Bolt, but if you link it to me, I'll take a look. But says, could this be the mirror? Maybe. Uh, it seems like not. Could a progenitors fit in this deck? In this deck, it's really unnecessary. Much worse than Grape Shot. I do, I do love that card though. You know, big, big fan. So if my spawn lives, I can go six plus uh, Channeler retrace a couple times, maybe. Submit a deck tech back. Sorry, I must have missed it. Goblin. Oh, wait. I don't see the actual comment. I just see Sigma's response. Okay, I submit a deck back. Argo. I got missed. Can I get refund? Yeah, if, you, if that's you with refund, that's fine. I can do it now if you want. Sorry about that. Oh, this this card. Sunspine Links. Yeah, just don't have the names memorized. Um, I think these cards could see uh, a little bit of fringe play, potentially. Not the highest review. Let us feel twick with Ave. Yeah, I've I've played Ave in Twiddlestorm. I, it's very fun there. So let's give them Delirium, which will hit me for put me down to eleven life. They put Barbarian Ring into the graveyard. Oh, eight life. Five life. Not looking great. 
They kept a card on top too, which is probably not going to be super beatable. I guess we'll just play both channelers this turn. How's it run a self draws deck of meta? I think it's still probably pretty good. We had like a bad showcase tournament with it, but that isn't even like the real meta. And those are kind of the only like two bad games we've ever played with the deck, anyways. So the last card is a spell. If it's another relevant spell here, we're gonna die, probably. Hopefully we can trade channelers. Could maybe Yeah, I think a block like this a top deck dark doesn't kill me. Okay. Dead. So down a game against Prowess. Good draw by them. Don't hate these runafouls against the uh, show off deck. Also kills Channeler. Don't think I want the Tormod's Crypts. 2 2. Don't think I want the Pyroclasms. Yeah, refund would be great, Sigma. Thank you. Any other spoilers? Also, it, full spoilers must be out soon. Looks like we have 259 of 281, so work on the YouTube video soon. Haven't seen this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't read this whole card, but just one mana, one, one, blue, red, otter token of prowess, and then can level up twice is cool. So for four mana, four mana to level up to two is a lot. Return instant sorcery from graveyard to hand. Six, whenever you cast instant sorcery spell, make an otter token of prowess. It is, this card is pretty cool though. Probably four mana to level up is so much though. Spellgire looks good for standard. Counter target spell or submail to draw to. Card seems great. Did I see this one? Enters a gives a promise to destroy art artifact or enchantments when it controls or just three mana four four. <laughs> but this was like very exciting, just uh, <laughs> makes a one one prowess and then has like two more modes, but other modes are kind of slow. Yeah, token doesn't sack to flare. If it was like if it was like a creature that made the, this thing, it'd be awesome. Well, I'm gonna keep this one. All right, we're not in a thought seats matchup. I'll just crack this. Aired Mesa. The fact that's a prowess creature that triggers prowess is cool. That is true, yeah. It's a good way to put it. Could, could be good. It could be... This card could be awesome. I don't know. Hopefully I don't have a mutagen of growth, but I'm going to go for the written 6 ping here. I'm going to for that. Could be good in Phoenix. Mm, good in Phoenix is this copium we say. <laughs> oh, look at this token all the time. Phoenix just kind of is poorly positioned. During your turns, you may cast instants and sorcery spells from your graveyard by paying one life in addition to their other costs. If a card or token be put in your graveyard from any way, exile instead, and then two mana to sacrifice it. So you can maybe play this over Unruled Breach as your wish target in Ruby Storm. If you want to main deck four, it's kind of interesting. I kind of just want to play a six here. No, it's not too greedy. It's just got a four toughness. You'd be okay. Why'd you sacrifice it? I guess you don't have to take all the damage to it's to it, right? But it is a little weird, I agree. I feel like I'm totally gonna forget to put this in the YouTube video, but you might you just might want to play this as a wish target and and so you can main deck all the, the pass and flames. But I feel like I'm gonna to totally forget. Fountain port, I haven't seen this one. Is he Mockingbird? Um no. Sorry, I saw a cool looking utility land. I've lost it. Here it is. Oh, Mockingbird, yeah, the the clone. It's a good, well named. Tap for a colorless, sack a token, draw a card. Three, pay a life, make a token. Four, make a treasure token. 
So it's like a trading post on a land. That is so cool. What's the, give, give your cards flash again? Is it really better? So the thing, the idea is that you would get to play four Pass and Flames in the main deck, and then you would be able to have one of these as a tutor target. Okay, Barbarian Ring, two cards in their hand. Gonna double burn spell this. Oh, I forgot Barbarian Ring can target uh, any target. Don't usually see a target creatures. Looking for a breach. So lucky. No grinding station though. Not yet at least. No Mox Amber either. One card in their hand. I'm not going to forget I have a written six activation. Well, I try not to forget. Like an exile, two bobbles, second rumble. Tornic packs it in. Not really had to click through a combo yet. On the draw for game three, let's go. Love to get another trophy with this stack. Also, what's, I guess what's nice about that enchantment too is like, like you could wish for it later in your turn, play it, flashback some stuff, then like the future cards you play also flashback. We have the combo, we have a turn one removal spell, we have six to hit land drops. We can go Chandler Amber for Surveil. I think I'm supposed to keep this on the draw against Prowess. A lot of really important elements here. Not because it exiles everything. Well, it's just like, so I, I, I maybe you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. Pass in Flames only gives the cards like currently in your graveyard flashback, right? Oh, sorry. I should have put Arid Mesa here for sure. Uh, Pass of Flames only gives the cards currently in your graveyard flashback, right? But this this would give things extra flashback. Oh no, it excels when you cast anything. For, I see. Never mind. You're right. You're right. So I was I was just wrong. Hit again. So they did plot a show off, which is always scary. That being said, if they just ignore my Renin 6, we win. If they don't, we're in good shape, too. Kind of tough for them to kill me at 15 life with four cards in hand. They had a Swifty off the Raptor. One, three, one mana left, three cards in hand. Is playing four station bad? I, I think it's suboptimal, but you, it, wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. My opponent is so confused, it's funny. They're like, what is he cooking? I'm just... I'm just like so obviously breach combo. Galen, the two years. Thank you. Welcome back. My opponent bolts me. Let's see what they do with the attacks. So they both go in at Ren, which means I need to chump block to win. So no mutagenic growth. They didn't have it last turn either. So I'm just going to plus return nothing just in case they have gut shot. Chat on my dad. <laughs> okay, so we are for the second league in a row. Oh no, sorry, we had a, had a little bit of break, but we're yet again doing a trophy prediction. We lost our trophy prediction with Naya. Can we get our second trophy with this gruel breach list? 
Yeah, I do love Smoke Bomb. I I pitched pushing Smoke Bomb more for Constructed when I consulted on the set, because the card is so cool. I love these like little green red combo decks. Up against the breach build. Which breach deck is better? Dude, I don't understand how green red breach uh, they they always start with lab talisman. It's so sick. They grab a micro spawn. Yeah, they're not gonna be as weak to the sage use either. Second like channeler is pretty nice though. Is Mockingbird a good addition to spirits? I'm looking for an excuse to make spirits competitive. I can't tell you what you want to hear, brother. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play double channeler here, if I'm supposed to go try to combo with the rumble. I think I'm going to play a second channeler. And not be confident that this is better. Maybe image four will be about spirits. Here's hoping. I like spirits. I'm a fan. Yeah, if they just have ring and debris, there isn't like really anything we can do. Turn two ring into turn three breach is going to be most decks anyways, I guess. Yeah, there's like a pretty good chance we could have won this turn now that we drew that. We're probably favored to win this turn. Uh. I don't know if I'm... Maybe I'm supposed to keep a six. I, I guess I could cast it here. Is there a zero mana card legend of modern like Raw Crack? No. None that cost uh, less than one. Or no, no zero mana ones. Isn't the ring so fun? <laughs> uh, everyone loves the ring, I think. I, I do think, you know, the, Ugin's Lab has definitely made the ring a lot better than it used to be. That being said, if they just don't have their two-card combo or another ring, we're in good shape. If we take Amber and Grinding Stage, we just win here now. My opponent has protection from everything. If I had Thassa's as Oracle in my deck, we could have won this turn. Um, if I had Thassa's as Oracle in my deck, I could have won this turn. But I don't. And so just I just have grape shot and I can't win. Did you get in with Eldrazi four spike yesterday? Yeah, yeah. You'll probably have more success getting people with four spikes than I do, though. <laughs> Three hundred is a fine card. Accelerating into it out, which is the problem. Maybe. To some extent, I I feel that the ring is doing a really important service to modern right now, which is like helping to contain Boros. Like, the ring is, like, Boros is just not super built to beat, like, a bunch of rings. And this gives, like, non-midrange, non-Boros midrange decks the chance to beat Boros. But Boros is just so hard to beat. Maybe change Grape Shop for a Wish to get a Wish board to beat Ring. Maybe. So I wonder if I could get a board together that can tank a can tank it through the breach here. It would only be an issue if Boros was playing ring. It would only be an issue if Boros was playing ring. What does this mean? Like do you think Boros would be better if it was playing the ring? I don't remember chat. I am kind of dumb. Could Bombardment Forsaken Minor interaction be competitive and modern? Maybe. 
It's definitely not the worst thing to do. As in Watch, you should only ban the ring if Boris was also playing it. Um, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know if exactly, exactly, you know, where you're going with that, but like, but yes, like, like if the ring was just like so good that every mid range deck, including Boros, including Mardu, were interested in playing it, then it would just be a much more clear needs to be banned. But there are a lot of decks in the format. Like like a lot of mid range decks in the format, like Boros, like this deck. I don't know. I guess combo combo mid range. Uh, but there are a lot of decks in the format that don't want to play um, the ring. And um, Boros specifically is so good against like other mid range, other fair strategies. The card quality, the deck is fast. The card quality is high, and it is um, it is a difficult deck to to defeat. I think the ring could fit in Boros. I mean, yeah, you, you could play ring in Boros, but I, I feel somewhat confidently that it would be suboptimal. You know, it's all it's always a conversation of like how optimal is it to build your deck this way. But I just don't think it would be optimal. So it's like it it you know, it's always a conversation of like, is it correct to play? Maybe it's a better way to put it. Why are we coming with ring protection? So I'm not killing them here. My goal is to get a board that can survive it through the breach. Which I think I can do. I think I can just get a bunch of Mox Ambers and play. And then I think I can still kill them next turn too. And maybe I'm wrong about that, but that is that is my goal here. Yeah, we have six, but like I'm just I'm just gonna try to get um I'm gonna I'm gonna draw most of my deck here. And I'm just gonna try to grape shot multiple times next turn probably. But I, I like to find a, a third channeler. I like to get six and third channeler and some mox mission bobbles into play. Not many cards in deck up to storm fifteen. We don't have to storm fifteen because we can just we can grape shot multiple times, and my opponent is going to have less life, and I'm going to be able to attack. But I'm not gonna, I'm not going to build my entire library now. You need six. I'm going to play six. I'm going to play six. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get there, but my opponents like they're like they're not F six, so everybody's antsy. I can feel it. Let me get there. Do Mike said the ring was part of the why the format is fast because you need to get under the ring or lose. Not trying to spark drama. Would love to hear your thoughts on idea. Well, I I do feel somewhat confidently that any disagreement on magic ideas is not drama unless you let it be, <laughs> or just it should never be considered drama. Um. But I, I I think that there's maybe a little bit of flow of logic there because it's like, um, I think mo modern is fast because MH three sped it up, <laughs> like, just just if the ring is not there, like you you don't want to be playing a slower deck, like you in theory just want to go as fast as possible, and MH three just enabled really fast combo decks through Ruby Storm and Nadu and uh, the through the breach deck, like these decks are not going to get slower, <laughs> are not going to try to slow down if the ring is illegal. Sorry for the drama, Doom. Draymond, the 40 months, think we'll come back. Underworld Breach in these trying times, hell yeah. That they are. I want the besage you in my yard in case. Um... They ring again. I want to. I think I want to play one more bobble out, which is probably going to look like me graveyarding this card. This card. I'm gonna get to Lyrium again once the breach goes away. I can probably go to four cards in my library, or five, four after I draw. I'm just gonna keep this one on top. Definitely a weird game. And before all's dust, do they play all is dust? Maybe they do sometimes. Again, it just this is just I think it's nice to be able to like win this game if my opponent through reaches me next turn. So I had to take this long convoluted line. I don't know how you win with one ring protection. I must have said it several times in this turn, but my 
I'm not trying to beat the ring protection this turn. I'm trying to build a board that can beat through the breach. And if my if, like if my opponent just doesn't cast another ring next turn, I don't know if they do. But even if they do cast another ring, they still like they're just so behind on board. I have so much power and toughness in play. Um, I'm not going to deck because I have five cards in my library, and I can also beat it. I can beat it through the breach now. Although I, can, I guess I can't beat through the breach on Ulamog. I can beat through the breach on Emrakul. Don't have cards to kill a storm next turn. I should. I should be able to. I should be able to grape shot uh, them dead next turn, especially because I'm also attacking in theory for just lethal on board. Casting an Eldrazi spell here. Kozik's command. All is dust. Um, thinking if I should draw off the bobbles or not. Seems like it'd probably be better for me to just go mill myself. Might be a little short of winning now. I think we might be fine. I, I left this bolt in the yard on purpose too. And this this can go to the yard also. Okay, so first we go Underworld Breach. Wait, where's my... Did I exile all the Mox Ambers? Sorry, where are my Mox Ambers? I, I guess I exiled all of them. I don't remember exiling all of them, but where did, like... Didn't I have one in play? I sacked it? I totally didn't mean to. Fuck. So it looks like I'm just going to be a mana short of casting Grape Shot twice this turn. So I think I can't win. You sacked to the station? Yeah, I guess I, I didn't mean to. But I guess I did. So can I can I storm for 10? That's the question. Gotta be careful about sacking these baubles. Active player, non-active player. So my baubles will draw before... Um, I'll draw off my bobbles before they take the ring damage, so I guess I have to do... I can't sack any bobbles here. I think I'm a little short. I think I can, I can just do seven. Tough. I think I, I think if I keep, have the Mox Amber still, like my ability to cast Grape Shot twice might might have mean I had enough. I wasn't not sure if I had enough. Any night energy? I'd love to see your deck end up eleven four. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do it today, but it, it is on my to do list. I guess I'm bringing in the Run of Fouls too. All my betting points back. All is dust, and the Ring Protection was predictable. Oh, I, <laughs> I want better chatters. <laughs> it was a very tough game, and I made a misclick that I I would have won the game without the misclick. Didn't mean to exile my last amber. Right, keeping this one. It's just a super tough game. <laughs> made a misclick at the end. All this dust is also not. I I don't think it's just stock and through the breach. Maybe it is. I, it's it's not uncommon. But it was like we just we like just definitely took the right line that turn, I think, and uh, made a misclick to lose. I don't know. It is the run four normally. Okay, I didn't realize it was that stock. But it's but it's also like I still can beat the Allistus if I just don't exile the Mox Amber. I also like I just need to play around the 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 Emrakul, I think. Seemed really reasonable. But even but even then it's just like you gotta be you gotta read the room a little bit. It was a long, frustrating game. I don't need the <laughs> I want my point back spike you played so bad.
We have a Kozlex command here. Who's in the pot if you get that tilted? Me? I guess. I don't know. It's it's fine. I just these these are <laughs> my least favorite comments. The like really I know I I know I made a mistake, then <laughs> it just bothers me, I guess. I think I might try to kill Ugin's Labyrinth in response to the ETB. No, because then they just get to tap for mana. I'm just going to upkeep the Besage you. Now you reach out screen. I see. I don't know. It's okay. I'm, I, I'm overreacting. So just move on. I'm sorry. All right. All the uh, Breach gamers. How many basics are all on at the moment? Oh, they have the bog. Kozak's command next turn, pretty scary also. Deck Faden's Boros Citadel looks sweet. Is that the Jolted Awake Boros Citadel thing? I've seen, we had a few deck techs for that a while ago. Could be something there. Let me see what my top card is. Another Rin and Six. I could retrace the Underworld Breach. I guess we do that. Then we get to, I think we get to bubble twice, right? I'm We could also attack with the 6 maybe. Yeah, let's let's attack with the 6 to fuel the breach a little bit here. Yeah, might as well put this into hand cuz it, it this could just cast bar bubble forward without exiling cards, can even go up on cards. Also finding Manevolent Rumble is kind of interesting in this spot. Fuels a lot. Could be a little greedy to cast the rumble. Uh, I guess I guess I should cast rumble with escape and not retrace. Okay, so there's grinding station, which we get to put into the yard. Definitely grabbing a land here, and then we should just win, right? Can't cast Rumble with Retrace anyways. Uh, right. <laughs> right. Okay, we win game two, I think. Do you have Breach or Station ahead at the start of the turn? Uh, I think we had neither Breach nor Station at the start of this turn. It was all just retraced. Think can be Mind Break Trap. I don't know if I could just bolt them out. Why do you not always yes on stations? Uh, I, I, I prefer to make sure I don't misclick the combo than... I, I'm just more likely to misclick, I think. We could do that. So we didn't get Mind Break Trapped. This hand beats Mind Break Trap. I was just trying to figure out, could we... Um, could we flash back Bolt that many times? Seems And it seems like we could have. I just wanted the answer to, do they have the Mind Break Trap faster? That was Rumble Bid. Rumble is incredible. 
I, I will only have like, you know, a little less than 10 minutes for game three. So maybe I could have done this a little different. Is it faster? It's probably faster to the grape shot because of this channeler triggers than it is to double bolts. All right. So we're going to go to game three. Was game one winnable, maybe? Game three on the draw. It was really cool to combo that turn <laughs> without... I think we just started with, like, second Ren and six in our hand, two lands... Yeah, the fables on the side were pretty bad. It just like I never really went to be off the combo. It seemed. Why run a foul with flyers as I'll just play? Uh, they 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 are trying to throw the breach Emrakul the Aeon's torn into play or Ulamog. It doesn't beat Ulamog, but it is pretty good against a through the breach Emrakul. It's a blowout. Yog, another creature toolbox is dead at the moment. Well, there is one creature toolbox deck that's been pretty good in modern. <laughs> Nobody wants to play it, though. Uh, but Yogg is playable. People have been doing okay with Yogg. I see Ragavan. Have we changed the amount of card? It's just to the best of the worst cards in the deck. I mean, you just have to play Ragavan in your green-red through the breach combo deck. Uh, Rag Ragavan is also, like, playable. Uh, I don't think Ragavan is actually unplayable, despite my editor always puts that in the title. Um... But it's like, I think it's suboptimal in Boros. I think that, like, you basically, you definitely don't want to play four Ragavans in Boros. Um, and it is it is a less good one drop than Ocelot Pride and Guide of Souls. And you also have a bunch of one mana removal. So I don't tend to think that Ragavan's very good in Boros because it just doesn't fit on the curve all that well, anyways. Um, it's also, like, quite bad in the mirror. Like, you should board it out in the mirror. Uh, but it is good against Tron, and Tron is kind of popular. So there's that. Uh, but Ragavan is also like, like in the Jun deck I played yesterday, it's worse than DRC and worse than Nether Goyf, and I just didn't want another one drop. But in this deck, like, I don't have another really good one drop I could play, and um, it's a legendary for the for the Mox Ambers. Has Titan completely left the face of the planet? It seems, I haven't played against Titan very much at all. Post image 3. One of Ragan is going to Boros for jumping it. Yeah, you, you could. Yeah, I, I think you should definitely not play four Ragavan and Boros, but you don't have to play zero. And Ragavan's a bit better right now than it, you know, is at some times. We could play the new Grist and Shuffle on Ragavan. It's probably worse. Yeah. Those, uh, yeah. It would be worse, I think. And also, like, you kind of need the Amber to tap for red, right? When you're looping. Didn't Dom Harvey say Titan's Toast? Yeah, I don't know. It may. Temporarily toast, maybe. Also, Dom's definition of toast is probably different from mine. I'm, I'm sure that if I'm sure if Dom was grinding Titan in leagues, he'd have 55 plus win rate, if not much more. I'm gonna keep. I think the run of fell is pretty nice to have on the draw. Ragavan's good on turn one, obviously. I was just like four Titan players who do some crazy stuff with Wilden, Springheart, and Sandra. Yeah. I just, if Titan's dead, good. <laughs> but I just, I've just seen the Titan experts too many times declare Titans unplayable. The metagame barely changes at all. And it just like is the, uh, the best deck again all of a sudden. The Titan, the Titan lobbying is just out of control. All right. They got to turn one Ugin's Lab. Imprinted one of their devourers. Okay, let's see what they kept on top. Well, that's really bad. Because that means they have Through the Breach, and my run of hell doesn't get rid of that. They're on Ulamog instead of Emrakul. We've been so happy to see Ulamog. Hmm. That one's interesting.
I'm gonna play the six. I I know that besage you on this labyrinth is probably pretty important, but. Run a foul with no pick or poison my blind. Run a foul is much better against Nadu, which is why we have it. Love to find another Besage. You do have four in the deck, right? Or three more in the deck, I should say. Yeah, I'm gonna besage you the labyrinth in their draw step, I think. One four. I have three of them on this side. Oh, I guess this is bad. If they just have it through the breach, they could just float the mana. Sorry about that. If they ever if they have a mountain or a stomping ground. So I'm not sure that they do. Find the camp that Nadu is for sure getting banned. I mean, no one, no one knows what Wizards is going to do for sure. Uh, but I, I think Nadu should be banned. So I didn't find a Renin 6 to get back a Besage you yet. If I find anything here, it's helpful. Okay, I can't quite cast that. I think we have six mana. They float instead of put the card in hand. Yeah, I think that they have through the breach and they thought they could get a red source. And they're gonna they're gonna through the breach Ulamog here. And then it's gonna have 15 counters. Yeah. Tough. If only this was Imrakul. How common do you play against other leagues? Pretty uncommon. Yesterday we played against it a couple times, though, but that was like the first time in a week. But not very often. Wh whoever wrote that in that article, really, they really fucked up. They were writing the words turn four format. But how could they know? How could they know that still 10 years later, people would be shitposting about, I thought Modern was supposed to be a turn four format. <laughs> You've killed me on turn two with your Nadu combo deck via Gemstone Caverns. I thought this was supposed to be a turn four format. <laughs> Give me back Splinter Twin. <laughs> it's like, a, I think we should let it go, y'all. I, I was also a twin player. <laughs> I think, I think we should let it go. <laughs> Why is it British? They're just like the easiest group of people to make fun of, I guess. <laughs> Does that voice have a name? Uh, sometimes it's Julius P. Hasbro's nephew. That's sometimes when I when I do that voice, that's who that is. I don't know if that's who it was this time. So it just comes out, you know. It just comes out. I can't help it. We got zero mana artifact in the yard. We got breach grinding station. Feel okay. Will be the strongest, best permanent to hit with shifting one land. In this deck, you want to copy underworld breach against. In, in this matchup specifically, you want to hit that card so that you can um, uh, copy breach so like you just beat their counter spells. They don't really have instant speed disenchants. So I can't quite combo. What happened to Omni Woodlands? Uh, deck was not performing very well. The main problem was our win percentage wasn't very high <laughs> when we played the deck. Besides that, there's no problem. So an instant speed Wrath Disguise would be 
pretty big problem here. Think you'll try to qualify for this. Eight players will draft a tabletop vintage cube and keep the cards of Magicon Vegas. Oh, that is so cool. I've always wanted to do that. How do you get in? Hold on, I guess I'll have to read. My <laughs> worst nightmare. Um... I kind of just want to go breach bolt bobble a bunch. Let's do that. Did I open the pack you won like two years ago? Oh, my legends packs? No, I still have those. Ultimate guard live <laughs> with the raid. <laughs> we were just looking at this actually. The uh, drafting power. Uh, is that Gabby was reading? We're looking at this. You get to draft Vintage Cube in live in Vegas. Okay, so how do you how do you get in? I'm going to Vegas too. Okay, road to Vegas. Feeder League. 64 player draft. Vegas qualifier. Ultimate Guard Finals. Yeah, well, let's try this. I don't know how much I'll stream of it, but I'm down to try. So my mana short of going six retrace and breach for a bunch of cards. So it seems like my best path to victory, maybe like the shifting woodland plan. So I wonder if I'm supposed to even retrace this bob. I'll retrace the bobble. I'll never know how to get to Vegas. Well, so there are feeder events you have to play. These start uh, this Friday. Okay, feeder events start this Friday. Uh, if you win one of these feeder events, you play a 64 player draft. And so then what happened? You have to win a 64 player draft, I guess. Finally, Vegas qualifier for that week's eight 64 player drafts running Saturday. The Vegas qualifier for that week's eight 64 player draft winner. Oh, draft winners. Okay. Wait, I guess I'm confused because if there's only going to be eight 64 player draft winners, if there's only going to be eight, wouldn't those just be the eight that get to play? Trey with the two months. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you. Do you ever play with the stream deck, the sound effect board? I have one. Um, and I... This is all I can do. And it, it, it it's not even working. It, it just plays a clip from Blue Eyes Samurai. So 64 cubes feed 8 cubes. And the 8 winners go to Vegas. Makes eight sixty-four. I mean, I'm down to I'm down to play them. It definitely sounds fun. I'm a little confused about the structure, but it just it just it seems like there's three there's three qualifying layers. But I'm going to Vegas anyways, and I would not mind <laughs> playing at this. Spike reliving his cube dreams. Yeah, I used to be like. <laughs> Why did you cast Amber for Surveil? Uh, I guess I should have cast Amber for Surveil. For some reason, I was thinking saving it would be good, but you're right. Um, back one, pick one, box Sapphire. Oh. Real life vintage cube money draft. I wonder what the pri I wonder what the prizes are too for the event. If there are any prizes. Sixty-four player drafts are eight pods for eight players. The winners go to Vegas. Oh, I see, I see, okay. The feeder decide the 64 players, the winners 64 players, I see, I see. I was confused because you often have to win a 64 player tournament, right? The prize is the cube, hmm. the prize is the friends we made along the way. 
Yeah, like back in like 2016, if you like, if you like look at like any like LSV cube videos, I'm like always, and you look at like the trophy leaderboard, <laughs> you'll see all aspiring spike up there. All right, let's go to game two. Very exciting event though. Good, job. I'm very happy they're putting this on. Probably do this. I think you have to win in 64, then win against 63. The winner is top eight plays Vegas. Yeah, I think at the top eight of the 64, like there, you just have to, you have to win a draft pod after that. Maybe we just need to practice some cube. So win four drafts in a row. Yeah, I don't know about the feeder league. Very cool event though. I love that they're putting this on. This is super cool. Like if, if I'm gonna be like <laughs> get, making sure I at least do the feeder league and then try my 64 player draft, I'm super excited. Cube has changed a lot of past years. Yeah, I, I've drafted this iteration of Cube once. Oh, our deck was so sick too. We actually had we our deck was crazy. We had Black Lotus, Time Lock, Max Sapphire Box, Emerald, and a Simic deck. It was, and our 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 cards were powerful. It was just that deck was so sick, dude. How do you manage a 64 player cube from how it's written? I think those would be eight different pods instead of, yeah, that might be how it is. We'll see. Don't spell snare me. I'm a good man. No, dude, we, <laughs> we needed that for in six to resolve. Back when pick one, do you take Mox Emerald or Sol Ring? I'd take a Mox Emerald, baby. I'm assuming that's more expensive than, I, I guess we don't we'll have to see like what the addition alpha, Sol alpha Sol Ring might be, um, might be more expensive, right? I posted my draft on Twitter once and got humiliated. <laughs> Just drop every draft scene since it's a good way to do it, I guess. Oh wait, that's a bad way to do it. Um I I guess I guess if my opponent plays a Teferi, I'll want a Veil of Summer. Mox Emerald is arguably better than Soaring nowadays. That's interesting. I guess the green cards are pretty good. So like so like you know, let's fantasize about being in this draft for a second. You know, you. It, it seems that we'll mostly be money drafting, right? <laughs> but it would be kind of interesting to not. It would be kind of interesting to, like, like if it, 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 like if 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 first place is like a set of power nine, the dynamics between money drafting and uh, trying to win that set, the extra set of power is kind of interesting. No later than beta versions. So cool. I think we're getting aggro here. Oh, the Fanatic list too. We forewent our first league, then we went O2 drop the next one. I like the deck. I'd, I'd recommend working on it if you think it's cool. Fanatic is really strong. Still trying to figure out other Fanatic shells. I think there might be like a Tarmogoyf, Necrogoyf Fanatic deck. Especially like where you could mill over Fanatic and Necrogoyf for value. But I don't know exactly what it would look like. I think I was supposed to preordain here. Surveil ordain. We should have. I don't know. We're pretty pretty cooked, it seems. Six not having ETB is pretty bad. I guess. I, I I think six is a really good card. Dodges a lot of the red removal and I have it I I certainly feel like it's pretty playable. I can get my revenge for that one year in Vegas where it was that was the event where you could draft Alpha. And you had to play this qualifier event to get into day two. And I started off six and zero, oh, and we got bad information that we couldn't draw double draw in. We could have, but we got told we weren't allowed to draw, which was just not true. <laughs> um, 
And I lost my next two matches, which, you know, skill issue, but I could have just double drawn in and it was would have been would have been sick. Did I have Delirium for Heat? I do have Delirium for Heat. I'm gonna try to heat the Flage and then get them bait the Soul Guide Lantern and try to top deck a breach for the win is my current plan. Fast hands with this 27 months, thank you, welcome back. I did get two Legends booster packs for my trouble, I guess. Fast hands again, thank you. It was was extra frustrating about that situation was there were like there were multiple tables or whatever that had exo people i think or like multiple like of these events and some judges the judges told the other event they could draw they just told us we couldn't draw and that it's just it was tough but I'll, we'll get our revenge we'll do the live vintage cube draft which would be better anyways will this be written 12 or, I, I i've been calling this rin and six and six this deck yeah, Just Guy Eater in mid-range. It is cool that Just Guy Control is, like, a uh, good deck again. I do like that. I do also think it is lunchtime. So today is Wednesday, so the cube drops aren't until, until Friday. Assuming there's another Friday challenge we can play, it'll be kind of nice maybe to do those cube feeder leagues on Friday in between rounds of the challenge. That'll probably work out pretty well. Um... Although there's a challenge tomorrow at 8 a.m. I might wake up tomorrow for that. Was we'll, depend on how the brews go today.